poaching of wildlife is on the rise in Africa, where parts of these animals are sold on the black market at exorbitant prices for numerous purposes. Leaders of African countries have been advocating for the conservation of these wildlife. This informed the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology to set up the Department of Wildlife and Range Management. Until recently, this was the only department in Ghana producing students to satisfy the demand in this area. The Department of Wildlife and Rain Management was uh, originally part of the original faculty of renewable natural resources. Um, but in 1995, the department was separated just to meet the growing deficit of the manpower or expertise required to handle wildlife issues in the country. As the name implies, Wildlife and Rain Management, is just uh, manipulating the environment. When I say the environment, I don't mean domestic animals. Anything outside domestication is wild. So manipulating the environment to benefit the species that make up the, the environment and also to benefit mankind that use the species. Yeah. When the Department of Wildlife and Range Management started, um, it wasn't so popular because students were not, you know, they were confused what actually it entails. But along the way, we've come a long way through education. Students themselves have seen that the environment is going worse, 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 worse. Off. So a lot of students have now shown interest in it just to help manage the situation in the country. Uh, the Department of Wildlife is addressing um, the worsening situation of wildlife. First of all, we are providing the manpower. Until recently, where our sister, some of our sister universities have joined in. We were the only department that were training wildlife managers. And this is uh, evident when you go into the main um, institution that uh, holds Ghana's wildlife in trust. That is the Ghana Wildlife Division. Most of the staff there are coming, have been trained, or they were students, past students from here. So the, the department has really contributed much in terms of training of manpower to solve the problem. Because of human activity, wildlife has really moved to where they will not feel threatened. So wildlife is moving further and further and further. And human activities is also following further and further and further. The most important thing is that there are some places which is inaccessible. So human activities have not yet been able to reach there. So those are our current strongholds of wildlife. And these places are mostly found in our protected areas, the wildlife protected areas, because it is illegal to impinge there. So these are our last strongholds of wildlife in the country. The Department of Wildlife and Range Management is a diverse department with lecturers having specific specialities and as such attracting lots of students. The department offers a lot of service to the community. Uh, the key one is training in entrepreneurial skills. Uh, one aspect of the department is um, livelihood enhancement. And that is true alternative means of survival. Through beekeeping, through grass cutter rearing, we are, we are going into Crocodile rearing, the skins, leather, which is very, very important. We are looking at ways also to go into crocodile rearing. And uh, mushroom, we've trained a lot of guys also into mushroom. So we have a lot of uh, small to medium scale enterprises 
owned by private guys and they have received training from the department. So we do a lot of uh, customer uh, services too. Uh, the job prospects of students coming from the department, uh, our major uh, employer is the Forestry Commission. The Forestry Commission which the Wildlife Division is part. So most of our students go there. And then most of our students too absorbed in a lot of conservation NGOs. We can talk about Conservation International, we can talk about um, uh, Threatened Species Alliance, we can talk about Arusha Ghana, we can talk about HEP Ghana. And the amazing thing is that all these Arusha, HEP, Threatened Species, they are all local NGOs that our students who graduated from here formed and they are competing successfully in the field. Our, our local partner is the Forestry Commission, the main partner because of how our mom, our students are absorbed into the system. For international uh, partners, we have a range of uh, academic institutions. We have a range of academic institutions. Uh, our first one is the University of Twent in the Netherlands. The department has a master's program, an MSc program, in a GIS Natural Resource Management. And it is a partner degree with the university, collaborates with the University of Twent in managing that one. Uh, we have a KCCR, the Kumasi Center for Collaborative Research. And the department has also uh, partnered with KCR in doing a lot of uh, uh, zoonotic disease research. Our collaboration um, uh, efforts or partner collaborative institutions, we have managed a lot of student and staff exchanges. Student and staff exchanges. I talked about uh, the uh, University of Twente, where it's a master program which is done half in Ghana and then half in the Netherlands. So students exchange and then our staff also go and they come. So we are hoping that this one with the Natural History Centre at uh, Germany, we are going to have a lot of students from Germany coming over to do studies and our students also going there. Also, students get practical knowledge by visiting the wildlife reserves in the country in order to get an idea of the roles they will be playing upon completion. You know, the department is a, a very diverse department. We have a range of expertise. I am an ecologist. My speciality is elephants. Um, we have spiders, experts. We have primate, primatologists. We have community education, conservation education guys. We have bat specialists. So our output is diverse. We do a lot of studies. Uh, the recent one is uh, on Kane West campus. We realize that a lot of development, infrastructural development, is really causing problems. Some areas that are wildlife strongholds are being used to as infrastructure development. We are building uh, maybe offices around that place. So we've done a major inventory and we've identified all the strongholds on campus. So with that document, we are going to really advise Ken Westy Management on how to proceed with the development on campus. We have also done a lot of impact assessments impact assessments, how our activities impact. And one of the major um, partners are these mining companies. We, before they mine at any area, some of our expertise is to go and then analyze the situation on the ground and see how their activities are going to affect the local wildlife in that place. So we 
we, we partner with mining companies also to advise them on safe mining practices. Wildlife management does not involve only animals. Mm -hmm. One aspect that people don't think about is the people themselves around the wildlife habitats. So as we concentrate on the wildlife, we should also think about the people that are directly, whose activities are directly affecting the wildlife. Mm. So we need to do a lot of education. You cannot just go and then be doing all the inventory stuff. But for now, the department should also look at awareness creation. Awareness creation and how to involve the communities in managing the wildlife together. That is the way forward for wildlife to increasingly bring communities to help in managing that wildlife. And it's called collaborative wildlife management. And fortunately, that is what the wildlife division is pushing now. So we need to go that way for a holistic management of our species. Students from this department mostly become entrepreneurs who advocate for the conservation of wildlife and range management in the country.